Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Wooden here. We are going to cover the basics of simple velocity animation in Pixie.js. To do that, we have to build some kind of graphic, animate it over time, and let Pixie redraw those changes over time. So let's go ahead and draw our first graphic here. We'll call it that dot, because that dot is that dot right there. We use something called Pixie Graphics. This is a place to draw anything you want in any color, in any shape. You make a bunch of drawing commands, and when you're done, that particular frame, Pixie will draw it for you. So if you draw a circle and say, make it this big, then you'll see a circle on the page if you add this to the stage. Again, Phil, let's give it a color first. So we have to say red. So this is a hexadecimal decimal value for red. I always remember it R, G, B. So six zeros, F is always the brightest. So you say F for red, zero for green, and zero for blue. That'll give us red. That dot, draw a circle. And where do you want to draw it at? Well, I'd like to draw it from the zero and the zero center. However, I want the radius or how big it is, divided by half, to be 20 pixels. So that'll make a 40 pixel size circle. Let's go ahead and position this guy in the middle of the screen. So he's not hanging out in the top left like he always is. And lastly, we'll add this circle to the stage so we can actually see what we drew. And I'll run Browserify here, start it up, open the browser at localhost 3000. And there you go, you have a red circle there against the black screen. Quite the contrast. Cool, so we have a circle. We can move it by pressing X, but every time that happens, we refresh the screen, and that's lame. Let's animate this. We'll give it some form of velocity or direction or how fast it's going to go in one direction x velocity or how fast it's going and this is pixels per frame that it updates so i'm just going to say 0.3 actually you know what? we'll say one make it simple make it uber fast so to do that we have to do our ticker add and call back to it and this will give us a function that runs with request animation frame hopefully 60 frames per second the most efficient way to draw in the browser today well unless you're a math major which i'm not so we'll add 60 times per second x velocity. And what this means is it'll take this value and add this to it every single time. So if it's one, it'll add one. If it's two, it'll add two and on down the line. This one is one pixel. It's gonna be really fast. So when I save it, I'll go back to the browser as quickly as possible. It'll constantly refresh the screen. I'll put my cursor and not move it. So you can see it's moving pretty quickly, pretty smooth. And that's 60 frames per second. So let's speed it up a bit. We'll go to 100 and hit save. Yo, oh God, did you see that? If not, I'll refresh it. Yo, so slow it down a tad. Let's do 10. So that's X velocity. The other one is Y velocity going down the screen. So we'll set that to three. So it'll kind of go at an angle because it's going faster to the right than it is down. And we'll make sure we add that value. So we'll say dot dot Y. Y velocity. It's felicity. It's v Y velocity. It's like a cross between Nordic and French or something. Ugh. Someday I'll spell, guys. Today's not that day. All right, so it went kind of fast. Let's refresh. That's pretty cool. Let's do super fast down, but not so fast up. Okay, I didn't even, <laughs> it didn't even register going right. So we'll do some floats here. And you can see it going horizontally down. There we go. It's not just with graphics, it could be any pixie object that you have. As long as it has an X and Y value, you can animate those things. And it's not just for this, it could be the width as well. So if you wanted to redraw the circle and increase the radius, you could do that as well. We'll say, let cray radius. And we'll set it to, what well, we have, 20? Say dat dot, draw a circle. Zero and zero, but to whatever it is now, cray radius. Cray radius, plus one, add a comma. Reload the screen, and as you can see, our circle gets dry down quick. It's so big, and it's moving down. It's basically an emulation of the end of our universe, although it doesn't become a red dwarf until after that, but whatever. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you animate the basics in Pixie. It can be anything other than graphics. It doesn't have to be just graphics. It could be any object that you draw to the screen. And what we do is we have properties or numbers that we increase or decrease over time. You can add or subtract whether you use regular or negative numbers. It doesn't matter. And those changes happen inside of this add function or this ticker function that runs using the browser's request animation frame as most efficiently as possible that you can possibly redraw on the browser. If you use the built-in one, it makes it pretty simple. You say, yo, give me a ticker, add this function to it, and call it as fast as possible. And that's where we render our changes to do animation.